Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ray here and today I'm going to give you guys two of the best CUDA class setups, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this class setup has got me my first nuclear, almost all my good ass gameplays. I, it gives me the kill streaks. It helps me throughout the whole game. This is by far my favorite gun in the whole entire game. The CUDA just shreds everybody. Once you put the right attachments, you have the right perks and you know how to work the map with the gun. You're unstoppable you with it, you know what I mean? But anyway, here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the best CUDA class setup. Alright, so for the first class setup, we're going to have, obviously, the CUDA. We're going to have the grip on it, long barrel, and extended max. Alright, the reason for these attachments is that grip helps you with your aim. The CUDA doesn't have that much bounce. Does it have a little bit? It has a little bit of bounce, but the grip will totally take that off completely. And long barrel for those increase, it, cre it increases the range. And for those um, long range gun battles, the CUDA is able to take that guy down. Stay on target, the CUDA is disgusting, bro, okay? It's disgusting once you have long barrel on it. Nobody can beat you at a range, you know what I mean? Nobody. Unless you have the right aim, nobody. And obviously we have extended mags. More ammo gives you, like, even a better chance to win a gunfight. They might run out of ammo. They might have a gun that just has 30 I think with the extended max CUDA has 45, I think, or 42. I can't remember. It's in the 40s. I know that. But um, once you have this, you can spray and pray. You can do all that thing, all that type of different things. And um, the CUDA with extended max just nasty. Win more gunfights, more ammo, and your ammunition. Yeah. And for perk one, we're gonna use flak jacket. All right, flak jacket because a lot of people use grenades on this game. Okay. I play domination a lot. I play a lot of domination, safeguard, and kill confirm. And everybody, almost everybody uses. Stuns, grenades, and things like that, you know what I mean? And Flak Jacket will counter all those things. And um, I think Flak Jacket is a really good perk because grenades in this game is really, really overpowered. So Flak Jacket is a must for this class if you're going to be playing Domination and Safeguard like that, okay? And for the perk 2, we got Fast Hands and we got Scavenger. Fast Hands, but so you can pull up faster on your target take them out quicker because you know you're going to be rushing around the map. You're not going to be rushing straight in the middle unless you're trying to cap the B flag or something like that or trying to get a, a tag or something, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, fast hands, so whenever you come into a gunfight, you can pull up your gun faster and try to aim down. Aim down the sights quicker, you know what I mean? And scavenger is obviously because you wanna, you don't want to run out of ammo. You don't want to pick up nobody else's gun, because you might not like that gun. You might not like the sights they have on it. You might not uh, like the attachments that they have on it. So you can just keep the scavenger and have more ammo in your magazine and just hurry up and get a nuclear, you know what I mean? This is the same class setup where I got my nuclear, you know what I mean? This is the same one, okay? If you want to get a nuclear, use this class setup, I promise you. I promise you, you will not have any problems at all. And for perk 3, we're going to throw in awareness. Now, for perk 3, I usually switch it up sometimes. Sometimes I use awareness. Sometimes I use tack mass, all right? It really depends. Um, tack mass, I'll use that whenever I'm going on maybe safeguard or something. When I'm playing safeguard or kill confirm. Because, you know, people throw stuns a lot, you know what I mean? So, tack mass would be a good decision. And then awareness, only use awareness if you have a headset. If you don't have a headset, don't use it. Just use tack mask. Don't use awareness if you don't have a set headset because awareness you can hear enemy footsteps almost completely across the map. That's why I love using awareness. It saves me through a lot of situations. Awareness is a really good perk if you have a headset. If you don't, then don't waste your time. Just go ahead and use tack mask. All right, and that's it for the first class setup. Once again, Kuda with grip, long barrel, interstated max, flak jacket, fast hand, scavenger, and we got awareness. Okay. That's going to be it for the first one. Let's move on to the second one. Now, for the second class for the CUDA, this is going to be a stealth class for all my stealthy people out there who likes to stay stealthy, likes to work their way around the edges of the map, and don't like going too much in the middle. This is this is for you. This is people who play uh, maybe Search, um, Dom, and you just want to try to get nuclear high kill streaks. This is for you, all right? This is for you. So we're going to have the CUDA, obviously, with the grip, suppressor, and we're going to have quick draw on it, all right? If you guys don't have that good of an aim with the CUDA, you feel like you don't like the aim and, um, what's the shit called? Thing right there in the fucking gun. What is it? The, the reticle, I guess. I don't know. But, um, if you don't like the reticles on it, you can just go ahead and throw on a Reflex Eye or ELO. Those are the best two for this gun. The recon is actually really not that bad for people that think it's bad on the CUDA. It's honestly really not that bad. You can check out the Mark J's video when he was going hand with it. The recon sight on the CUDA is not bad at all. It's really not. But anyway, I recommend the reflex and the ELO sight. If you don't have good of aim, just go ahead and throw that on there. And you can replace You can replace the uh, quick draw. Just replace that, and then you're good. You can also do that for the first class. If you guys don't want to use the um, distended mags, maybe you can go ahead and just throw on the red dot sight or the ELO. 
you'd be good. Now for your perk one, obviously you're gonna have ghosts. This is a stealth class, keep that in mind. You're gonna have ghosts. But there's a thing with ghosts if anybody didn't know. When you're using ghosts, nobody can detect you on the map, right? All right, everybody knows that. But did you know, if you stand still, they can see you on the map. You're gonna be detected if you stand still. So you have to be on the move. You have to stay moving. You have to stay strafing because they're gonna see you on the map if they have an enemy UAV and you stand still, you stay in the corner, they're gonna be able to see you. They're on, this is only where, it's only active when you're on the move, guys. Only when you're on the move. Now for perk two, we're gonna have scavenger because you don't wanna run out of ammo, you don't wanna pick up nobody else's gun. Scavenger, I use this on almost all my classes unless I don't really care about it that much, unless I'm just trying to, just trying to get some good, some wins in, you know what I mean? Unless I'm trying to get some wins, I'll just put on fast hands and just leave scavenger alone, don't really matter. But on this one, we're just going to use scavenger because you're going to want your ammo, you're going to want your gun, you don't want to pick up nobody else's. Same scenario, you know what I mean? And for perk three, you want to have dead silence, and you're going to have awareness, guys, all right? And dead silence, you're going to have, your your footsteps are going to be completely silent. And um, awareness, though, you can you can hear other people around the map. Like I said, this is a really good class, guys, for all the people that want to stay stealthy. This class right here will help you get that goal. Stay stealthy, get your skill, your, 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 your score streaks. And get your nuclear. You know I mean, you probably get your nuclear with this class. You never know. I don't know. Um, you could try to put it go on or free for all. Try to get it nuked out. You know. But um, but yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this best CUDA class setups. This is two of the best CUDA class setups. I hope you guys really use these class setups. If if it helps you in the gameplay, if it helps you get a nuclear, drop a like, drop a sub. You know what I mean? I like to hear things like that. You know what I mean? So. These two classes right here, Kuda is my favorite gun by far. It helps me through everything. I love this gun with a passion. And um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming soon. And my name is Ray, and I'll see you guys in the next video.